Hello, I am Janish Raghela from the BJ Medical College, Ahmedabad. Today I am going to talk about the thoracic part of the esophagus. Esophagus is a hollow muscular organ. Uh, it is the passage from the passage for the food particles. The lumen of the esophagus is generally compressed due to the anterior relation is the trachea. So trachea is generally or is open for the passage of the air so esophagus is compressed it is only open or dilated during the passage of the food particles now we trace the esophagus the upper dilated part of the esophagus it is called as the pharynx so there is a pharyngoesophageal junction it is considered as the narrowest part of the GI tree but except the worry from appendix it is the appendix has the smallest lumen now starting esophagus is start from the pharyngoesophageal junction then it runs in the superior mediastinum then it is runs in the posterior mediastinum at the level of the T10 level it pierces the diaphragm and opening into the cardiac end of the stomach at level of T11 now esophagus has the two curvature one is always present at the root of the neck and second is present at the lower end of the esophagus now esophagus has a four constriction this constriction is very important for the endoscope and the distance from the distance of the constriction from the incisor it, it is also important the first constriction it is present at the 6 inch or the 15 centimeter from the incisor teeth, it is due to the cricopharyngeal muscle, second at the 9th inch or the 22.5 cm due to the arch of the aorta, third at the 11th inch or at the 27.5 cm due to the left bronchus, and fourth where the esophageal pierces the diaphragm, the constriction is formed, it is called as the force constriction, and the uh, distance is from the 15, 15 inch or the 37.5 cm so during the endoscopic procedure the relation and the distance is should observe for the different part of the esophagus now the relation of the esophagus is the four like the anterior relation posterior relation right and left anterior relation we can see that the trachea left bronchus right pulmonary artery pericardium and the left atrium Posterior relation is the vertebral column, then thoracic part of the aorta, azygous vein, thoracic duct, posterior intercostal vessel. These are the posterior relation and right, right relation, it is the right lung, right pura and right vagus. Left relation, left lung, left pura, left recurrent laryngeal nerve, left pulmonary artery. Now we see the artery is supplied, the thoracic part of the esophagus is supplied by the esophageal branch of the aorta, now venous drainage from the esophagus to the azygous vein and the lymphatic vein is typically present at the posterior mediastinum. The lymph is drained into the posterior mediastinal lymph node. Now the nerve supply. Esophagus is a two nerve supply. One is the parasympathetic part. Second is the sympathetic part. The parasympathetic part, the upper part of the esophagus is supplied by the recurrent laryngeal nerve. Why? The lower part of the esophagus is supplied by the esophageal plexus. So what is the esophageal plexus? It is formed by the right and left vagus nerve and some of the sympathetic fibers is also present in this plexus. Now the sympathetic supply. The sympathetic supply upper part is supplied by the middle cervical ganglion, lower part is supplied by the upper fourth thoracic ganglion. Now we see the histology. The esophageal like the esophageal is like by the non keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. Now after that there is a lamina propria and inside it there is muscular mucosa which contain the muscle and inside it there is a submucosa which contain the esophageal gland in, out, inside outside that there is a muscularis externa which contain upper one third part skeletal muscle middle one third part myth muscle and the lower one third part there is a smooth muscle now the we see the clinical applied like the esophageal during the microstenosis there is a enlargement of the left atrium so the just to be in the left atrium there is a compression of the esophagus and other is the during the neuromuscular degeneration or disease in the mesner plexus or myentic plexus the lower esophageal sphincter like the cardiac sphincter does not dilate it so the food cannot pass from the esophagus to the stomach so food accumulated in the lower part of the esophageal it is called as the achalasia cardia other is the esophageal atresia, esophageal stenosis now other is the Barrett's epithelium in which the epithelium is changed from the non creatinine stative ischemic epithelium to the columnar epithelium and other is the during the endoscopic procedure we should observe the different part of the esophagus
This is the Thalassi part of Israel, thank you.